Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're gonna go over five automations that you should set up on your CRM. I have been using CRMs for the last 12 years and worked with several companies implementing new CRM systems. So every time I work with a new company, I go over this list to make sure that we automate as much as possible to save time and resources. There are a lot of CRMs out there that can do most of the things I wanna to mention today, but you can always use a connector app like Zapier or Integromat to set up the automations, even if your CRM doesn't have an automation module. All right, without further ado, let's start with the list. Automation number one, notification for customers and employees via email, text messages, and chat apps. You can automate the process of sending different email notifications depending on, for example, the client type and the job type and trigger the automation with the different stages of your sales process. First, you will have to create a template of the emails you want to send and then set up the workflow to send the emails when the deal hits a stage. You can also do the same with leads. For example, I work for a construction company and we have different client types and job types. When the contract is signed, we send different emails depending on those fields. We also send text messages that are automated using a combination of the CRM workflows and Zapier. I have a video tutorial that shows how to set up this workflow, so I will link it in the description. You can also do the same with email notifications and chat notifications for your employees. If you need to notify changes in the CRM, you should create an automation that can do it for you. For example, when a job is ready to be started, you can email all the information to operations. This also works with any chat application like Slack or Zoho Click. You can notify your sales team every time a salesperson closes a deal. Automation number two, task creation and assignation. If you would like to automate your tasks, first create a list of tasks that the team needs to perform regarding leads, contacts, and deals, and then set up the workflows that will do the job automatically. This is a very basic function that most CRMs can do. One of the things you will be able to select is who is the task owner, either the record owner or a specific team member. Also, you can set up a due date and you can probably send email notifications about the tasks. The only time you will need to create a task manually is when you're dealing with a specific situation that doesn't follow your standard process. You can go a step further by assigning tasks to other users from a drop-down field if your CRM allows that. For example, you can assign one task called create proposal to the record owner and another one called follow up to the sales support employee that was selected in the drop down field. You can accomplish this with a custom function or maybe using Zapier or Integromat. Automation number three, adding leads to the CRM. Depending on how you generate leads, you can automate the input process so your sales rep and marketing reps don't have to do it manually. If you generate leads using the internet and the leads are already filling out a contact form, you can automatically add the information from the form to the CRM. Here you can be creative and customize the lead information as much as you want. For example, you can assign different sources depending on where the lead comes from. If you get leads via phone calls, you can create a form for your sales rep so when they're on the phone, they can use the form to collect all the necessary information. And when they submit the completed form, you could create a lead in the CRM as well as sending a notification to your sales team about it. You could collect the information directly in the CRM, but typically forms are very well optimized for easy use and you could set up conditions or logic so the form reacts differently depending on the information you're currently adding. Hey guys, quick side note here. If you're enjoying the video so far, please click the like button. It helps me a lot deciding what videos I should make next. All right. Back to the list. Automation number four, fill updates. At any point in your sales process, you will have to update fields depending on different variables. For example, when you close a deal, you want to register the date in a field called contract sign. This type of fill updates can be automated so you or your sales rep don't have to do it manually. You just need to set up a workflow that will be triggered when you make any other updates on the record, like a stage update, and then the workflow will update the other field. More examples of field updates are amounts for commissions, for example, as well as dates that we mentioned before, and also any other field relevant to your sales process. Automation number five, create clients in your financial software. This is a very simple automation that saves a lot of time. Every time someone becomes a client, when you update your CRM, 
it will trigger an automation that will create a new client in your financial software like QuickBooks, Xero, or Zoho Books. Depending on the CRM and the financial app you're using, you can do a direct integration or you will have to use a connector. For example, if you use Zoho CRM and Zoho Books, the integration is native and you don't have to do much except a simple initial setup. But if you use Zoho CRM and QuickBooks, you can use Zapier to transfer the information between the apps. And of course, you can mix up some of the other automations I mentioned before. So when a new client is added automatically to your financial software, you also notify the sales team or the operations team about the new sale. Finally, I wanted to mention a few more advanced automations, assignment rules and running schedules. When you get new leads, prospects or contacts, you might want to assign them to specific employees, depending on the information you have about the record. You can do this automatically with assignment rules. Some advanced CRMs like Salesforce, HubSpot and Zoho CRM have this feature. So if you're manually assigning records constantly, you should see if your CRM can do this for you automatically. The second one I mentioned is running schedules on a time basis. For example, if you perform an action on all your contacts every week, you could automate this so the action is completed automatically. There's a chance you will have to use custom functions or APIs to accomplish this, but it will save you a lot of time in the long run. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. But let me say that if you're repeating a task over and over, there's a big chance you can automate it. It is just a matter of thinking what's the best way to automate it, either creating a task, sending an email, updating a field, or sending a notification, and then creating the workflow. If you have any questions about this video, let me know in the comments down below. Also, I am a software consultant, so if you need any help with automations, please check out my website for more information. I will link it in the description with other links that are relevant to this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.